Hi, welcome to the very first Blender tutorial on the channel. I appreciate you for being here. Today we will be modeling a shoe from a reference image that was particularly inspired by Nike Dong. So if you're new to Blender and looking to create something like a shoe, I hope this video helps you do it. And if you're ready, let's get started. So here I am in Blender 3.2 in the default layout screen with the default setup a camera, a cube, and a light. For now, we do not need any of this. So click and drag over everything, hit X on the keyboard and select delete. So we can have a fresh scene to start with and hit numpad one to go to the orthographic view, specifically the front orthographic view, because we're previously in the perspective view, but we want to add our reference image in the front orthographic view. So hit numpad one and then shift A to add the, the reference image that we need. Go down to image and select reference. This takes you into the folder where you can load up your reference image. So go ahead and select mine will be the site. I know I have these other images, but this would do. So make sure this is ticked align to view. So it helps you align the reference image to the view that we are currently in, which is the front of the graphic view and then load that. Um, as you can see, our reference image has been added at the center. So hit G and Z just to pull this up so that the bottom of the shoe rests um, on the X axis, which is this red line. And then let's rename that to reference. So we know exactly what this represents. And then with that done, let us hit G Y and pull this away from the center, just to make sure that the center is nice and clear because we will be adding um, the plane to the center to use it to create the shoe. Now to add a plane, shift A, Go to mesh and select plane. As you can see, a plane has been added. Um, let's rotate that on the X axis by 90 degrees. So R X 90 and left click and then numpad one again to go back into the front of the graphic view. So here we are in the object mode, uh, but we need to transform this plane into a shoe. And for us to be able to do that, let's go and select the edit mode. So now we are in the edit mode. The shortcut for that is just hitting the tab key, which toggles between the object and the edit mode. I believe this is faster and a lot more convenient. So in the edit mode, let's hit S to scale this down to about this size. Now G to grab it and then R to rotate like that. Now what I want to achieve is for us to create a nice floor of faces that will represent the shape of this shoe, um, the reference image that we are using. And to make that easy for us, let's go into the X-ray view, which is just clicking this um, icon at the top right here. The shortcut for that is Alt-Z, which toggles between the X-ray and the solid view. In the X-ray view, let's go ahead and shape the vertices to follow the, the flow of the shoe. So the first thing we'll be creating is a flow of four faces at the top right here. So E to extrude, R to rotate, Extrude again, and then extrude one more time to create one, two, three, four faces. Let's try to make sure that the faces are of similar sizes. Again, it's not necessary, but it's just important to the structure of this shoe. Now, there we have it. So we have successfully created four faces at the top. Let us create a flow of faces down here as well. Okay, so select these last two vertices, E to extrude them to about here, and then R to rotate like that. And then Control R to add three loop cuts to create four faces here as well. And then we could select these three and just bring them down a bit more. And then this one as well to bring it down to about there, like that. And then just shape it. You can pull this up just to give a nice flow again. That's it. Bring this down. This is just to ensure that we have a nice flow. And that's what we have created so far. Now, Alt click this edge to select the whole um, edge, E to extrude, and then Z to constrain that extrusion along the Z axis like that, and then click and scale that on the Z axis by zero. So S, Z, and zero, so it's nice and flat. Now we can pull, push it up again, um, G, Z, just to pull it up again, just about there. So we've created something that follows the structure of the shoe roughly. Um, well, we could make it accurately if we want. Like I've selected this GX just to pull it backwards so it fits nicely. Um, select this vertex and just bring it back in like so. And then G, pull it up like that. 
And there we have it. So we have created a piece that we can use modifiers to improve, okay? Now let's go ahead and add modifiers to speed up the process. So the first modifier we need is a mirror modifier that essentially makes a free copy for us. This is the copy that the mirror modifier has created from what we have already. So it's currently doing that on the X axis, but let's deselect the X axis. Hit A to select everything. G, Y to pull this out like so. G, Y, pull it in a bit more and then hit Z. So we make a copy on the other side like that for free. Okay. Now hit E to extrude the faces closer to the center, but not touching the center. And then Alt Z to see what's going on clearly. Hit X on the keyboard and then select faces. That deletes the inner faces uh, because we don't want the faces to be there. Now Alt click this edge again. What we want is for both of these uh, objects to merge perfectly at the center. So for us to be able to achieve that, we will need to turn on clipping on this modifier. If we try to do it without clipping on, say, G, Y, as you can see, they go through each other instead of clipping at the center. All right, so let's turn on clipping and then G, Y, you can see they merged perfectly at the center. So I'm not sure if this is the correct size we need for the shoe, but we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. So we have created a blocky representation of our shoe, which is progress. Now let's take this further, go back into the edit mode and then hit three to go to the face select. C to bring up the circle select and select this top four faces, hit X and then delete faces to create a hole for a foot. All right. Want to go back into the vertex select mode. Um, now we've created a shoe. Okay. But our shoe has two uh, major problems is it's very blocky first and foremost, and also very thin. So let's use modifiers to help us um, solve our problem. And the first modifier we need is the solidify modifier. The solidify modifier, uh, I'm not sure if the name implies that very well, but it essentially adds thickness or solidifies this. Um, if I have to borrow the word, it solidifies our mesh, basically giving it some thickness because our shoe was so thin. By default, that thickness is only 0.01 meters where you can change that here. Also, it is adding the thickness outside, which introduces a new problem. And that is uh, the vertices are now inside, making it very difficult for us to modify this shape using the vertices. So let's affect the thickness in the negative direction. So hold down shift and slide this to the negative direction to about 0 0.1. 0 0.17 is a good thickness for me. As you can see, now we have our vertices outside that we can use to play with the shape further. Now that our shoe is thicker, let's go ahead and use another modifier. So let's add in the subsurface modifier, um, which is here. And as soon as we added that, it changed the game for us. The modifier subdivides faces in levels. So the viewport level is three, less than both the viewport and the render um, to three. Further subdivided the faces, making our object to appear smoother. Now let's hit tab to go to the object mode and then right click and select shade smooth. This basically makes it spotless, as you can see. Now, I believe it's time for us to give our shoe some true character. So let's go ahead and modify the shape because right now it's very flat and funny looking. To do that, let's go into the edit mode and shape this around. So let's select these three vertices, G, Y to pull them in to give this a shape like that. And then um, select these last three vertices at the top, G, Y them just to pull it along the Y axis like that and then select these two and then GY them as well, just to give it that flow like this. Okay. I believe the ones at the top went too far in, but GY just bring them out a bit. So as you can see, that immediately makes a huge difference to uh, the structure of the shoe. Now select these ones in the middle, GY those as well, uh, pull them in like that. And then select the last, you just shape this around to look like a shoe. So G, Y, pull them in. And then select these three vertices at the back because it's so flat. Let's G, X that and round it off like that. Okay. Now we can select this one alone, G, Y, just to give it that round flow. Now hit numpad one to see what we've created so far. 
bring this together so so like that bring it up bring it up so it just flows nicely again you can all see this just to see what we're creating gg to slide this up so we have a good flow of vertices now alt click this edge gg to slide it in like that and then select these three vertices while in the front of the graphic view and then G to pull it in to follow the shape of the shoe more closely. And then G, is once and pull them up, you can bring that down a bit. Be creative here, create it however you want. That would be better than just following what I'm doing. This could be better, so let's select that and just maybe give it a flow like so. Alt Z to see what we have created so far. So there it is. Um, we could make a better shape out of this. So let's go ahead and hit A to select everything, G, Y to pull it in like so. Okay, just to give a more um, defined shape like that. Click away to deselect everything. Select these three vertices again, G, Y to bring them out like that. I think this is too uh, pointy. So let's hit numpad one and tap. We could bring this alt z to select this and then maybe bring this outwards again okay alt z tap. so that's what we have created so far i'm proud of this now i think it will be a good idea for us to create the the tongue now i do have a reference for the anatomy of a shoe because i truly did not know what to call these parts of the shoe and luckily for us we have the internet um shift a go to image load and anatomy load so what we have created i'm not sure if, if it's called quarter it's not the innermost it's like the this part okay like so if we were to look so let me hide the plane if we were to look on the reference image what we have created is this white part but because I do not have a name for that, let us call that the main for convenience. The next part I want us to create should be the tongue, which is this part. So let's go ahead and create a tongue from the main object or quarter. So select the main object, hit tap on the keyboard. Now select this and that, and then hit V on the keyboard to separate it, just to rip them apart. Um, and once that's done, select the other vertices and then G to pull them down a bit. Select these two vertices, Alt Z to see which ones I've selected. Alt Z to go back and then G to pull it up like so, just to grab it up like that. And then select this vertex, pull it down just to follow a more curved structure that looks like the tongue. And then G just to bring this down. Now select this one and that one. Again, this is all about you just creating it um, however you want. Now let's hit G to pull them out like so. And there we have it. So this is what we've created for part one of a shoe tutorial. Um, in the other parts, we will be creating the sole. So if you're not satisfied with this and you want to take your shoe design further, go ahead and watch part two of the tutorial and create your sole. So we'll bring this together procedurally. Thank you for watching and see you in the next part of the tutorial.